This is another edition of Classic Tetris Monthly, the Future Circuit Semis and Finals for January 2022. Uh, if you've been around here this month, you know that the Futures Brackets have been restreamed over and over and over again, right? We're expanding, we're growing, and now we have the Future Circuit Finals right here, ready to go. Future Circuit Semi-Finals. First match between two DAS players, Torza and Salted Sofa. It's counting down in three, two, one, Tetris. And it's Shambro with the follow. Thank you so much. Glad you are here. Uh, if you're not following, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? We passed the 4,500 follow threshold, and it sure would be nice if we could tell Twitch, hey, you know, uh... 5,000 follows by the partner app, right? That would be something, right? So if you're watching and not following, give us a follow. Be pretty, pretty cool. But play is playing perfect so far. Oh my gosh, four lines in, getting that first touch or so. It is a, it is a great feeling, right? You know, maybe, you know, reaffirms that you have confidence in what you're doing. You get that first touch or no burns. Uh, and then you get situations kind of like what Torres is in right now, where you just kind of, you know, waiting for the right piece for too long to talk. It doesn't come. So, uh, uh, Torza does the Aki thing, the Coach Aki thing. Long bar in column nine to get ready in a good place for that long bar. A Tetris for Sofa up to 71,000 and a Tetris for Torza up to 72,000. So both players, you know, settling into the 18 game. We hope for nice long play styles all the way. Uh, nice long play all the way through. Play styles all the way throughout? What is, what is that? How do you have a long play style? Is that gonna be the next play style after rolling? You know? What is the next style? Is it gonna be like controller mods allowed, right? You know? Maybe that, maybe that allows for more diversity of, you know, ability? I don't know. <laughs> Heps in chat saying long is slang and brishland for bad and das is bad. Well, there you go. The long play style. Long, long play style Tuesday, governor, isn't it? God. <laughs> there it is. 166 for Sofa. 169 for Torza. Torza is fixing parity. Sofa is Tetris ready. Gonna take a triple and then get the bar right after. See that little bit of hesitancy, you know? You're like, ah, God, you know? Not really a great place to adjust for that, uh, at that point. Got a hole, but does have a Tetris, so maybe now it's time for, for triple, double land for Sofa. Towards a clean, with this next Tetris, going to take the, almost take the lead. 216 for Towards the, 220 for Sofa, and they're pretty close. Pretty, pretty close Towards the, taking the lead. Sofa getting a little bit of spice. Oh, going for the dirty, gets the dirty Centerwell Tetris. All oh, right, right. The CTWC 2019 vibes, you know, where you're task players and you're like, maybe maybe I go for this dirty one, you know? And they get it, so such a good feeling where they can, you can literally feel the aggression being calculated. Torza looking to skim out of this. One more skim will do it. And Sofa might just build up here. Oh, decides to just burn out. Torza gonna Tetris and take the lead and get another one. 292 for Torza, 257 for Sofa. A new playstyle is already confirmed, Mafio says. Players have started using their toes and rolling on the back of the controller with them. It's called trolling. Very good. 315 for Torza, 259 for Salted Sofa. Sofa gets Tetris ready, was waiting on the L, but now, ooh, a little bit of a pickle. Duh, could have burned out of that with the J. Uh, now holding out for another J, gets the J in time. L, J, dependency over on the left side, plugs it. Oh, waiting for the long bar. This could be dangerous and Sofa unable to quick tap or a double quick tap. That S piece over to the right is going to top out at 285 flat. Torza at 384 is good and going to get heart number one. GG's. There we go. Oof. 
And look at that. Uh, sip of the coffee, you know. Get a little bit, a uh, little bit, a little bit of coffee going, you know. Get some caffeine in ya. We got a ready from tours. Uh, you can also show ready by hovering three tours. Yeah. That would uh, that would be pretty good. And we got a hover three from sofa. So let's count them down. Three, two, one. Tetris. Arusa old size. It says it's all right, man. You can do it. You believe it. They got here without accident. Oh, we got a raid coming in. El Paltum with a party of six. Welcome in El Paltum. Hope all is well with you. And uh, go get a haircut. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, me. Elp is is be going full miles, you know. Maybe maybe going to start a TikTok soon. We'll see. So for shaking his head, you know. Uh, well, holding out for the bar. Going to get a bar here. Oof. And Elp comes in and says, "Go, Sofa. You'd love to see it." Yeah, Elp is going to go full miles. Have the TikTok. Have the YouTube. You know. Have the, Elf, do you have a Discord server? Elf probably has a Discord server. Sofa has a Discord server. I would not be surprised that Torzo has a Discord server. All these servers, player servers that you could join. Grow, grow, grow. Tetris for Torza up to 74,000. Sofa going to Tetris at the double long bars. 116 for Sofa. Tetris for Torres are there. So if we're looking to skim out of this, holding up for the S, and it does come in time. Oh, but Torza hangs the J over on the right side. Uh, oh, nice spin tuck of the S. That's very sneaky way to sort of resolve that. But then another S burst, right? Just keep coming. It's going to allow Sofa to maybe pile up some points here as Torza digs out. Torza sets up for this dirty and will get it. 152 for Torza, 188 for Sofa. So Sofa, their equivalent in lines. Sofa with a Tetris and a half lead so far. Early days here. Early days going. So if you're around in chat, uh, we do have this command, the Amazon command. You know, you can use that. Make select purchases to help support the channel. Uh, and I'm serious when I say if you need to buy something on Amazon, let me know. We can literally put anything on there that's like new. So DM me, put it in chat what you need from Amazon, and I'll probably add it, you know, after stream, and we'll get a we'll get a cut. It's that simple, right? So if you need cat food or more coffee or something, let us know, and uh, or DM me, and I'll uh, I'll get you a link. And like, all right, here's your you need you needed some coffee. All right, here you go. There you go, by using this link. So, so for getting in a little bit of trouble, but uh, you know, can burn out of this. Oh, nice pieces for it. Sofa, still holding up for the bar, bar timing, everything. Going through a little bit of a drought here. It keeps forming. How long will Sofa be able to hold out? There it is. Nice triple to stay safe. It gets the Tetris. 317 for Sofa. 299 for Torza. He's been slowly but subtly chipping into that lead. A little bit of the, little bit of the slowdown from Sofa. We're about uh, a little over halfway to transition, and uh, you know it's still a pretty close game. Three forty-eight from Torza, three sixty-five from Sofa. Looking for a two-flat piece to get out of this. Oh, creates a double lumbar dependency. Where's the lumbar for Sofa? This could save. Oh, gets one in time. Okay, still a little risky, bisky here. Oh my god. Oh, oh man, but that adjustment is so hard to see. It so quickly. Keeps getting those squares all the way over to the left, and oh my god, insane survival from Sofa gets the Tetris, four hundred thousand maintains the lead because towards there's a little bit of slowdown as well. Bar timing not optimal for either player. 
400,000 apiece, really close. So far, oh, okay, so that's four more lines to burn. But you know what? Safe scores in the transition. Anything can happen when it's this close. Towards it does take the lead. Gets the T-spin. 243, uh, two, oh well, my gosh, 423 for Torza. And 429 for Sofa. Oh my god, it's so close. But Torza does have a uh, seven line advantage. Salted Sofa seven lines ahead. And oh my gosh, we're getting so close. Eight lines of transition for Sofa. 478 for Torza. 476 for Sofa. Oh my gosh. And Sofa's gonna transition at 502. Torza can get two more with perfect play. Sofa sets up immediately for that long bar. Gets a Tetris. 527 in transition. Torza looks like we'll set up for the perfect uh, perfect last Tetris to get in. Let's see how long Torza holds out for this. Sofa in a little bit of trouble right after transitioning, but looks like can burn out of this. Torza takes a skim and then t uh, transitions. 5.52 for Torza, 5.34 for Sofa. And, uh, oh my gosh, a little bit of the overshift for Sofa. Sofa needs a long bar uh, and still needs to get something over to that right side. A perfect quick tap. Gets it over. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. 561 for Torza. 547 for Sofa. Sofa burning out of this. And opens up, but only good for a triple. Gets it set up, and there's the Tetris for Sofa right after that scary situation. But, uh... For, uh, Torza continues to play, and at 5.94, Torza, oh, misses the adjustment to set up for the Tetris, that's okay, uh, flips it the other way, oh my gosh, holding up for a bar, takes a triple, Sofa looking for the right pieces to get sort of, gets out of this situation, Torza continues to Tetris, but Sofa with the lead, 6.7, 6.12, Oh, towards it now, sloping the wrong direction. Oh my gosh, both players just trying to survive here. Sofa gets that long bar all the way over to the left side. Critical to survive. Torza is skimming out of this. Leaves something for that left. Gets it. Oh my gosh, a little bit of suffer transition from both players. Oh, square burst for Torza. And Sofa's opened up the well. Torza keeps building down, down stacking. Where is it going? Oh my gosh, Sofa sets up for one, Torza just taking these skims, taking these burns, Sofa with the lead, 662 for Sofa, 635 for Torza, nice tuck there from Sofa, and Torza is open and clean, ready for business, gets the Tetris, 667 for Torza, uh, unable to get that long bar all the way to the left, Sofa takes a little bit of a breath, gets another long bar uh, in time, and a Tetris for Torza, we're neck and neck here, 698 for Torza, 707 for Sofa, Sofa on 26 does have the four line advantage. So Torza has an extra Tetris in hand. Could even up the gap. But Torza has the lead. 720, 730 for Torza. 747 for Sofa. They keep going back and forth. They keep Tetrising. Oh my god. What is this match? This transition. They had the troubles at the beginning. They're in the zone now. Sofa sets up. And Torza is going to get a Tetris. Sofa set up for one. Where's the long bar? Get the long bar to it's Sofa. Oh my gosh, he's holding out. Might have to take a burn, but no, there's a Tetris. 8.15 for Sofa. Oh, Torza having to take these skims. Oh my gosh, these are the high scoring levels. You got to take these Tetrises. They're playing as aggressive as they can, Das. Oh my goodness. 8.52 for Torza at 2.25 lines. 8.38 for Torza at 2.18. So, oh, so uh, gets it all the way over. Sofa's gonna cop out at 889, getting that long bar over just in the nick of time. But with that Tetris, Torza's gonna do it at 907. Has another one in the bank. Torza's gonna get heart number two. Exciting post transition, neck and neck the entire time. After that early suffer, Torza gets that well deserved and earned heart. Number two, but GG's to both players. What an insane transition. Oh my god. Game number three coming at your way. What an insane game two. But game three starting now in three, two, one, Tetris.
towards his mom saying, Go to bed! Uh, but towards it up 2-0, might need to just, uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> Tugan Ho in chat, Tugi, what's up? Tugi says, tell her you can win a role in a Discord server. That is correct. You know, hey mom, I'm uh, competing for a role in a Discord server. But admittedly, right, you get a role in a Discord server, you also get challengers, right? So, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be one to admit that qualifying does, uh, ha you have an inherent advantage if you get multiple attempts at qualifying. Where you can multiple put up your best score. And by multiple attempts, I mean that the number of games you can fit in. If a tapper has a bad transition, tapper tops out. Das players have a bad transition. Like 400k, you gotta play those out, right? You know? Because you might, that might be your game, you know? You might get 600k post, or you might get 400k post, or 800k, or 500k, you know? So, uh, you know, free passage to challengers. Pretty good, pretty good deal for DAS players here. You might get the challengers role. You might get the futures winner role, you know? You won't get the victim of cheating role. That one, uh, that one is a little bit under regards. I'll be. I'll admit that the victim of cheating role, and I, you know, it's a, it's a nice role. I I am looking forward to seeing what happens, you know, with the saga there. I mean, if if Sam could just win challenger or something. Okay, let's talk about the match, because towards is in a little bit of a situation here. Maybe Mom is getting to them. Oh my gosh! And neither player in great shape. 85,000 for Sofa, 62,000 for Torza. Torza looking for a two flat piece, not getting one, has to get that T all the way over and is surviving this, but looking for the right pieces to get out. Uh, Sofa is open and can get a Tetris. Nice adjustment there of the S piece for Sofa and Torza is out of immediate danger. Says, you know what? I will not top out. I want that Discord roll. I want the YouTube fame, you know, to be the winner. And towards the Tetris is 97,000. Nice arrival there at the beginning. Wait, <laughs> is that what happened? Uh, <laughs> that would be fun. We could, we could maybe extend uh, Victim of cheating, if we if we need to. Oh, that left side for Torza gets it over. Oh, that is that is some fast dash right there. <laughs> uh, very fast dash. Um, but it looks like we'll be able to skim out of this. Looking for the right pieces and gets it and a Tetris for Torza. Behind 60,000 points, 134 for Torza, 196 for Sofa. <laughs> oh me. Torture is doing some very good things. So another thing, right? Another thing we have going on, we have this Raise Affiliate. And I'll be honest with you, uh, it's pretty good. I've had G Fuel, I've had Raise. I think, I think Raise is better. I hate to say it. Raise uh, is doing a limited promotion right now. You go to ctm.gg slash raise and they have a sampler pack available that costs 10 US dollars for shipping, right? Pretty, pretty snazzy and we get $5 of that. So you get, you get a lot of liquid and support the channel. We get $5 and I'll let you know if we sell five of those this weekend, we get an additional $5, right? So there's your multi-level marketing. But it will work, right? We actually, we sold a couple yesterday. If we could get a couple more go going. It's an extra 25 bones for the stream in my uh, my pockets, right? No, Bandy's pockets, no. Uh, streamer's pockets, no. Uh, player's pockets, right? right? But it really helps us out, right? So do do those, please. That would be great. 338 for Sofa, 236 for Torza. And there you go, right? Chris C C Chris M says I bought one last night. We appreciate that. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and this stream. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's like with G Fuel and other energy drinks, I get like this sort of you know you crash after an energy drink, right? You know, you get this initial surge. Rays, uh, not so. And you also have with Rays, you actually get some sleepy time drinks too. It's not all just energy drinks. It's a pretty nice uh, variety there. 411 for Sofa, 329 for Torza. He's had a little bit of a suffer 18, especially compared to last 
few games. Whoops, hit the mic. Still just trying to, you know, stay clean, get a clean transition, come back there because Sofa's up a hundred thousand points here. <laughs> Tuki asking for the Razor. Uh, affiliate. Uh, I think Razor is dead, right? Scooters. I've seen a lot of scooters in my neighborhood, but I think Ra is Razor still doing scooters and stuff? They probably are. Transition for Torza 383. Gets a Tetris right afterwards, though, after a nice series of skims. Solfa gonna transition 487. So about a hundred thousand point lead here for Sofa at transition. Oh, and Torres is getting up high. Gonna take that triple with the long bar and maybe build up from here to be as efficient as possible and going to get that, you know, slightly dirty Tetris one off the bottom. Both these players, expert at 19, expert at pre-transition. It's early morning for Sofa, late night for Torres. The things we do to make this tournament happen. 548 for Sofa. Gets that quick tap all the way over to the right. But does create a long bar dependency. Oh, Sofa needs a long bar. Oh, wait, a little bit of an early shift. Oh, gets the long bar in time. Uh, Sofa now having to dig this down. Torza in not a great shape to capitalize on this slowdown. 557 for Sofa. But, you know, both these players just trying to stay alive. That's what's most important. Neither can score. That's okay. Oh, and Tozzi doesn't get the square all the way over to the left. Gets the triple. So for digging this down, bit by bit, brick by brick. 564 for Sofa. 478 for Torza. Sofa can't get the quick tap all the way over. Sofa's going to top out at 564 flat. So chase down situation here. 565 is the target. For Torza, thank you, Sam, for putting the score in chat. We appreciate that. 565, got time with uh, some, with with uh, a couple Tetrises, couldn't hurt. I could take some triples. There's going to be one, 549, and uh, yeah, plenty of time now. Line out territory for Torza and Sofa there. You know, playing a good game, just got the wrong series of pieces. It's the morning for Sofa. <laughs> Aki being toxic in chat. Love to see it. People do not want to have Sofa go tears in chat. And a couple more pieces here from Torza. That double will do it. Torza is good. And we'll get the third heart. You got to keep playing, my friend. And you're going to get the third heart. Taking this set in a sweep so unfortunate there for a sofa but well played from both players uh let's go ahead and uh while i get the next oh my gosh there there's torza behind behind pepe a little bit yeah yeah all right there we go hi hi stay awake uh maybe turn the lights off or something pretend to go to sleep right do the thing where you hide the laptop under the uh under the under the under the blankets or something i don't know but a winner is towards us so there's our first semi-finalist we'll get the next one set up and who do we have alex let's get the second semi-final match underway featuring alex Drosku with a pb of 1.3 and tapping uh, and Zeno. Zeno's still chasing that 1.3 i believe and they have a uh, rolling play style so we're gonna see that glove on display let's count them down in three two one tetris Zeno also a graceful, graceful and grateful. I think they're happy. Host of CTM. Uh, a lot of events throughout the month. So nice to see, you know, see them have some success. Be here in the futures semifinals, the last four. A lot of people already with setting their expectations sky high. Uh, 1.3 in comp, you know, very healthy. You know, expectation of that, but I know that they're just cheering on Zeno. Oh, and Zeno already a little bit of a board. And so is Alex S. So uh, we might be might be into some uh, interesting territory here. Okay, Zeno's digging out of this. 
Maybe that, uh, maybe that little early scare will sort of wake you up in the morning. This is actually perfect time for Alex S. They said that it's, uh, that it's afternoon for them, right? Just nice afternoon time. Oh, and Xeno certainly didn't mean to put that T piece there. Oh my gosh, Xeno in a little bit of trouble. We'll see what that rolling can do to help sort of help survive this situation. And uh, doesn't doesn't burn for a double. What we do have is score updates. 121 for Alex S. 24,000 for Zeno. Who's still chasing that first Tetris. Yeah, I think this this will this will wake you up a little bit. You know, a little bit of a scare. Now LJ dependent and LJ would be great for Zeno. Can we help? Can we help them out? Give him a give him a L or a J. Uh, not in time, but Zeno will get that first Tetris. 56,000 for Zeno, 148 for Alex, who's going to open up a significant lead right at the beginning of game one. Bongo Chan Owo with the first time viewer. Hello, welcome in to Classic Tetris Monthly. Glad you're here. Nice spin tuck of the T from Zeno, but Alex S is playing clean and getting those Tetrises, keeping that 100,000 point lead early game here, you know. So this is this is the thing, right? So Zeno did get in the Masters last month. Nice qualifier there. Down in Futures, you know, you know, hanging out here, having a good time, making it to the semifinals. A lot better performance than last month. Now up against the morning. And also, you know, rolling does create some miraculous things. Also, that stack management, we're seeing it on display. Able to able to be a lot more creative stacking with rolling. Uh, but you still gotta worry about parity, right? And the piece is coming next. Oh, no place for the square. The size of it's a square in 9-0 instead of 8, instead of 7-8. Oh, and the... Oh my gosh, the rolling triple flips show up for Zeno, and Alex S is just clear and crushing it. Oh, that Spire, Valor would be happy, but I wouldn't be happy. Look at that S Spire, oh my gosh, and Zeno, the holes keep coming, and they don't stop coming. Oh no. Okay, but does get the, oh, what in the world? <laughs> Getting these pieces, just flinging them all the way over. Alex in a little bit of a situation now. Little LJ dependencies, but can just burn out of this. When you think it's over! Right? Uh, Xeno survives, but falling behind 150,000 points. Alex not in any scoring position, though, so maybe this is a time Xeno can make up some of that lost pace. LJ dependency for Alex. Creeps that into an L dependency. L doesn't come in time. So, Xeno is clean and going to get a Tetris. That's going to make it 150 again. Oh my gosh. And you know, that's that's the game, right? You can play... I don't think Xeno is playing aggro there. I think there was a series of misdrops and unfortunate pieces. But uh, if you survive, play as aggro as you want, right? You know, if you can survive, right? It's only a problem when you die, right? You top out. 400,000 for Alex S, 264 for Zeno, who's playing, uh, playing, was playing pretty well, but just not getting the bar, sets up for a triple, doesn't get the S over. And you always gotta, you always gotta, you know, just keep in mind that survivability is... King, you know, uh, getting the survival. Oh, but unable uh, speaking of survival, both players are the scary stacks. Zeno, all right, Zeno, what? Zeno sets up the T spin, gets the T, and just shakes his head. A suffer game of Zeno immediately goes to the coffee because Alex S is good, and we'll get heart number one. GGS. Three, two, one. Tetris. Yeah, there you go. I spammed the cat food algorithm. So, Alex S, I know you're available later, but uh, we have Torza, right? Torza's in the other side, and Torza's late night. Alex and Torza pretty much on the other. I mean, we have 
basically, I think Sofa's uh, East Coast Canada. Is that right, Sofa? Like Toronto area or something? I don't know if Sofa's still here. Uh, we have Zeno on the west side of the state. And we have Alex over in Romania. So, you know, and we have Torza from Thailand. So it's just all over the place. We just had to pick a time that lined most with everybody, right? And this is it. So, you know, part of scheduling, part of getting it going. And Zeno saying right away, you know what? This ain't going to be no gimme match. Already underway, 91,000 for Zeno, 114 for Alex S. And so if it does confirm, Toronto in chat. You know, takes that double, pretty wise decision there. Yeah, it really is cool that we have so much representation, and it, it's cool, it also makes my life a little, I'm the scheduler now, you know, going in and scheduling all these players, and we ask the players to be as flexible as possible, and sometimes that ends up in a situation like this, where I don't believe Zeno originally had this time available, but Zeno said, you know what, I'll take it for the team if that's what works for everybody else, and honestly, commendable. Also didn't have to do that, but we did need somebody to bend, and, and Zeno said, you know what, I will do it. We only had like three overlapping times when you ask people to be as flexible as awful, so then you just start, oh, can you do this one, can you do that one? What I can do for these players right now, most best, is give a score update. 171 for Alex S, 154 for Zeno. Did you know the S in Alex S stands for Svavar? This is Svavar's tapping alt, right? That's what Svavar used to look like over there in the picture of Alex Jurescu, right? Jurescu? I heard, I heard the uh, commentary, right? Jurescu? I think that was pretty good. Oh, sets up the vits. Does it take the vits from Alex S? Maybe there's a cleaner solution? Yeah, it looks like a double S talks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a little baited with that vits setup. <laughs> um, but that's okay. We got a pretty close game here. Tetris for Zeno to go to 251. Another Tetris from Alex S. We'll put him there. A little bit of a drought situation. And Tetris from Alex S. So, pretty close game here. I wonder this is going. Clean stacks from both players. Three twenty-two for Zeno. Setting up a little bit of a skim. Oh, but it has to put the square over on 9-0. A little unfortunate timing there. They're looking for the long bar. Sort of get out of this and no, they'll just scam out of it with some other pieces. What do I know? 349 for Zeno, 328 for Alex. Right, it's like carefully timed aggression. I love it watching uh, watching CTM so much because you always have these players making these calculations. It's not as you know. Not, uh, these players aren't playing for prize money, right? They would play into a tournament that then plays into the prize pool, right? Or they can also re-qualify and if they qualify high enough, jump straight to the prize pool. So, they're taking all these calculations of aggression, where, where their player, where their opponent is at, what's the best placement for their play style, you get the diversity of countries, you also get the diversity of each player's own playstyle, which is not just rolling or tapping, but the speed of the rolling and the tapping, the consistency, the player's preference on even just stack shape, you know? Seeing all of that manifest itself right now in game two. 472 for Alex S, 466 for Zeno, who had a little bit of a long timing issue there. We're gonna get another one. Uh, next and next, right? Getting very close to transition here. Both players on pace for a nice high transition. 
This could be... Could be 600k if pressed, but probably nice high 500k transition. Yeah, long bar is not coming for that. Access can get one more attacher. It's 526. Zeno can get two. Now it's just gonna burn into transition. Transition 526. Zeno having to take these burns as well, but gonna get a Tetris. 542 transition. So one Tetris different to that transition here. Alex immediately gets a little bit of a little bit of slowdown. Has to take these uh, take these skims and burn. Zeno's gonna take a burn at the bottom to fix the parity. You know that's the other thing, right? You see all the time people talk about where to take burns, right? Burning is not just for safety, but to fix parity as well. And Alex S. Oh, right. So left, right side for Alex. Looking for the Lombard. Holds out long enough with that skim. Gonna get one. 593 for Alex S. 598 for Zeno. Oh my gosh. And Zeno, uh, 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 sorry, Alex. A little bit of a situation. It's probably just going to. Are they going to set up aggress? They are. The setting up for the Tetris here. Two off the bottom and gonna knock it down. 625 for Alex, 630 for Zeno. Zeno setting up for one, probably will set up with that skim and gets a Tetris. 658. So Zeno with a probably about a two Tetris pace lead. Oh, Alex does not get the long bar over. Almost does it again. Uh, under tapped and then over tapped. Uh, but luckily the long bar comes and Alex now in pure survival mode. Oh, gonna get the square all the way over. You think it did? Created that L to go to the LJ Dispensy. Unable to because the square was blocking column three. 718 for Zito, but uh, uh, Alex Vaz can't get anything over to the left side. Is going to top out at 663. Zito at 748 is good. And will get their first heart. Ties up the set. GG's. And just unfortunate uh, little square then L there for Alex S right try to get that square all the way over to one two would have made space for the L and three four but then square didn't get over so oh Zeno is out of coffee out of coffee uh hard sorry to hear that uh do you need do you need to go another pot that's okay oh you got water there you go stay hydrated friends Zeno out of the stimulants that's true Ren saying ban coffee <laughs> that's true you know. All right, we got a hover three from Zeno. We got a ready from Alex S. Let's give him a countdown for game number three in the semifinals of the Futures Bracket in three, two, one, Tetris. <laughs> yeah, classic Tetris news. Unbelievable YouTube account reporting all the hard facts and data that you need to know about the classic Tetris scene. We had a report on Alex Alex Thatch. We had a report on uh, the mecca of dog playing Tetris. And we have a report on stimulant enhancing drugs, which Alex could use to get out of this. Luckily, he had a Tetris set up, but just gonna have to take these burned right away. And Zeno gets a Tetris to start off with as well. <laughs> Ban coffee. <laughs> Ban Kofi, right? <laughs> ban coffee. Ban the pronunciation of Kofi as coffee, right? Uh, if we ban coffee, I think Pumpy would be out of a job. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to work. Lemos Jackson with the follow. Thank you so much. And like I said earlier, we're at 4,500 follows. If we can get pumped that number up, we are doing a little bit of a partner app push here. We get all the chat going. Can everybody who hasn't chatted before, like chat and chat, chatty chat, right? Stoical with the follow. Stoical, how are you not following? Stoical, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> 87,000 for Alex S, 84,000 for Zeno. <laughs> I don't know, sorry, Stoical says it's fine. Uh, give us those follows. Get those numbers up. These are rookie numbers. We can pump those numbers up, get the partner app, and then I promise we'll chill a little bit on the self-promotion. You know what would really help with the partner app? If we had, like, Twitch Prime subs. 
Jeff Bezos in all of his uh, glorious and wonderful creative decisions decided that if you have an Amazon Prime account, you have a free Prime subscription. Just link your Amazon account with Twitch and you can support this channel with a few easy clicks. Or, you know, if you are of the monetary means, we would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to Monthly Tetris. We are aiming for so many streams. We're maybe probably adding hopefuls for next month going to be on Monthly Tetris. So you'll get all the information. You'll skip all the ads if you subscribe to Monthly Tetris. It helps us out a lot. 183 for Zeno, 226 for Alex S. Both players playing clean here. <laughs> Jeff Bezos made that decision himself personally. Just like, you know, uh, Bezos in all of his glorious ways. Uh, high, high hiring, I guess, or maybe not hiring. Maybe he did it for fun. He's, uh, Will Shatner to go up to space, you know, get, get uh, Captain Kirk up in space for about a minute, right? I don't know if y'all watched that video. Kirk is just like holding on, you know, uh, Shatner, Will Shatner is just holding on to the to the vessel the whole time. He's like, what in the world? This is so wild. And like, is this actually say old man Shatner? Love it. And uh, one more promotion for Shatner and I'll give a score update. Shatner has a incredible album out there. You know, the spoken voice albums, one produced by Ben Fold, so good. 299 for Xenophilius, 364 for Alex. So a little bit of a slowdown, just some burns that Xeno had to take, costing some pace. Uh, Zeno now, uh, Alex in a little bit of a situation. Zeno looking, they're looking to get out of this with the right pieces. Ooh, all right, you gotta take that double. And might have to take another one because this drought just keeps going for Zeno. Oh no. We don't talk about Zeno's drought. We don't talk about Zeno's drought. Oh my, it still keeps going. What is this drought for Zeno? You gotta just, and of course, as soon as the well is covered, there's the long bar. You just gotta keep your head down and take those burns. 398 for Alex S, 317 for Zeno Phileas. RNG trolling Zeno right now. It's gonna allow Alex S to get a hundred thousand point lead. 444 for Alex, 347 for Zeno. Looking now clean for both. Tetris for Alex. Counted the four at the last second. You know, got that long bar all the way over from the left side. Moved it over. Touch it for Zeno. You know, just trying to maintain pace. At this point, you know, score a differential like this. Gotta play out till post. Points, uh, Touch says are worth a lot of more points at that particular level. Second level increases, worth more points. Gotta survive till then in order to chase this kind of thing down. But Alex, that's just on a pretty sizable pace here. Can get two more Tetrises. 421 for Zeno, Phileas, 525 for Alex S. And there it is, 551 transition from Alex. You know, certainly a solid competition pace, right? A composition transition, competition transition, composition on the brain, I guess. Zeno stacking uh, gets one. You know, take a skim to try to set up for another one. Alex, you know, looking for a two flat piece. Might just have to, yep, take these burns to get some. Ooh, Alex, oh no! Early flip there for Alex. Gonna get the Tetris, but a little bit of a situation. He's gonna have to burn down. Zeno has been Tetrising in post. 527 for Zeno, 637 for Alex. You're gonna come down to it, right? Just gonna come right down to it, right? Here we go again. Here we go again. Touch it for Zeno, 557. Alex trying to save that pace, maybe setting up dirty uh, center, center well here. Sets it up and then immediately, you know, says, I can't hold out for this. And just gonna take these burns down. Zeno sets up for a Tetris, just hasn't been able to close this gap significantly, but the pace, do note that because Alex was a little taller, Alex a few more lines in hand. 
Uh, Xena with lines in hand, my apologies. And there you go, you can see the pace sort of measuring out now. Alec deciding to go for this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, where the... Okay, Alex hits the skim and another skim going Cinewell and gets a Tetris after it seems like it's been a while. Four, 747 for Alex, 682 for Zeno, so a little bit. If we're looking at pace here, about a Tetris and a half difference. Zeno able to score those Tetrises and eat into that lead. Alex sticking with the center well. You know, that can be a little bit more reliable on pieces, but we'll get the pieces to get the Tetris, right, the long bar come. Oh, and Zeno unable to get that T tapped all the way over to 345. Oh my gosh, all right, so Zeno now just has to burn out of this. We'll see how fast that roll can go. It is, oh, is that, okay, is it over? No, Zeno needs to get something all the way over to the left side. Gets it over! Oh my word, Zeno, what is, what are, what is happening? They're just killing it when you think it's over. Oh my gosh! Even the, the frame delay, it almost looks like cheating. Oh my word. <laughs> what? It's so fast. Oh my gosh. And getting this down, Alex in a little bit of trouble, unable to score as well. Oh, but the left side is cut off for Zeno. 739. I thought it was over for a second. It wasn't. But Alex at 848. Solid score. And will be getting their second heart. GG's. The whole country. The entire country right now. What? <laughs> oh, Zeno. Zeno saying tired. Oof. Zeno maybe. Z we look at this. Again. This is the uh we've had this happen many times on monthly touches. This is the second time today where the clothes are coming off, right? Clothes just coming off. Game number four of the semifinals future circuit coming your way in three, two, one, Tetris. If you're watching this on YouTube, you just missed a wonderful discussion about why Zeno's shirt is off. You know, you just missed it. I'm gonna cut that part out. So give us go on, go on over to Twitch. Give us a follow, you know, trying to grow the live events. We don't want people getting spoiled on YouTube. That's no fun. Watch us live, twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Come on. <laughs> now we have uh, NGC man saying that they will wear so many layers of clothes today and disrobe one by one during their match. That'd be that'd be something, right? You know, take a take off during the game, you know? In between games, that's continuity errors. Oh my gosh, how will we handle it? Clothes going on and off, you know? This is uh this is classic Tetris in the year 2018. You know, this is what this is what's happening now, and who knows what the future holds. Could have a quick score update here. 54,000 for Alex S. A little bit of a dig here. And 95,000 for Zeno. Another touch for Zeno. So maybe, you know, maybe the clothes coming off helps the arm move a little bit, you know? You can look at, look at that arm motion, right? It's not just the fingers, right? It's a little bit of emphasis on each line. It's almost like you're pushing into the controller with Zeno's roll grip. Uh, you know, so maybe, maybe having that more freedom of access. Look at that. Look at that. A thumbs up from Zeno. Pumpy, uh, pumpy amateur roller knows nothing about how to do this. But Zeno approving, so I'll take that. 131 for Alex S. 186 for Zeno Phileas. You know, if you tried to make your arm tense, I think that would have defeat the whole purpose of rolling, right? You got, it's a loose motion. You got a lot of tenseness with tapping or some tappers, right? Uh, you certainly don't have to be tense to tap, but that's the first thing people think of uh, when they think of tapping. Much the same way you want rolling to be as loose as possible. It's a finesse kind of uh, play, play style. 185 for Alex S. 236 for Xenophilius. 
Oh my gosh, in chat, everybody talking about how cold it is. How cold is it where you are right now? Right now it's a uh, brisk, brisk 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, you know, uh, right below freezing. So like what, minus two Celsius or something where I am in Louisiana. But that's pretty warm. We're near the Gulf of Mexico and everything. A little bit of, a little chilly here in the entire country. <laughs> Axis cleaned it up, trying to chip back into that lead, still down about 70,000 points. Tetris for Alex and a Tetris for Zeno, 311 for Zeno, 264 for Alex, back to back Tetris is there. And a Tetris for Alex S. Yeah, it certainly is chilly. Oh, Titus says heater is broken in our house, so not very cold. Oh, oh, so our house is very cold. Not complaining, though. Titus, the heater is broken, but here watching Titus, you know, priorities. And also, what is Titus going to do, you know? I think Titus is down in uh, the south region of the U.S., right? So, you know, pretty chilly here. Not the coldest it could be. We're not at those crazy freezings yet. And that is exactly why. All this cold talk to say this is why players are disrobing during in between games, right? Not during games. That would be that would be pretty pretty crazy. Uh, we're gonna see it now probably, aren't we? Don't get us oh my gosh, we're doing partner pushes. Don't like don't do obscene things on <laughs> stream, please. Please. I already have to beg Van Dweller multiple times a week. Don't uh <laughs> So please, uh, don't don't make me have to beg you to play this. But now it's all good. Uh, 405 for Alex S. 475 for Zeno. Do you want to maintain that, you know, 80,000 point lead or so? And Alex is ahead in line. So really closer to a 100,000 point pace lead here. Oh, see? Yep. You know. There we go. Everything uh, progressing smoothly for both these players. A nice, healthy 18. Love to see it. Ooh, a little bit of an interesting sort of shifted spire for Zeno. Oh, and Alex has all oh, transitioned with the well covered, unable to get. That L piece over! Oh no, and the Spire in the middle from Alex S. The Valor Spire comes back to haunt them. And Zeno at 595 transition is good and we'll be getting their second heart. And you know what that means. Little D time. Little D cider, you know? Yeah, a little decider here. There it is. It's the decider time. We got the decider flashing on the screen right there. Both players are ready. Game five semifinals of the future bracket. Tight just giving out a gift sub in three, two, one. Tetris, a faded decider from Muffio. Gift sub to Chiz105. Thank you so much, Tetris, for supporting the channel. I'm gonna call that out during a during a countdown. Yeah, I don't care. This is my stream, right? No. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. This one this one is a bop. It does take a while. We're gonna we're gonna back it up. Uh where's where's a good flex style? There we go. They're all good. Where's the where's the one I'm looking for? There we go. Game five. Flex style, only music is a bop. Hope, I hope I really hope we can get flex style, you know, on the channel. Vandy working some magic, trying to see what we can do to like actually have flex style here. You know, that would be pretty insane, won't you think? Trying to work out details and schedules and conflicts and business and kids, all that sort of stuff. Trying to trying to get this all sorted out. And uh, we have had. Pretty good game so far. Game one, you know, a little bit of an early top up from Zeno. Chugged the coffee right after that, you know, said, I don't need this coffee. 
I need, uh, I need all this coffee in my body, all the liquid in my body. A flex style live performance. That would be, that would be cool. Yeah, we can, we can see what we can do about that. A lot of moving parts, a lot of moving pieces. We're trying to see what we can do to give, uh, you know, we want to we wanna represent Flexile for all their years of support, whether they knew it or not. They probably had no idea the screw to what it is from just my brief interactions with them. Uh, and now the all of, all of his music, you know, just iconic with this tournament. Give a score update, 167 for Xeno, 149 for Alex S. If I don't give a score update, just imagine that there's clean boards, everything going just fine, you know? You know? Ooh, uh, again, a little situation. Alex, unable to get that L piece all the way over to two and three. So, uh, I'm looking for a way to burn out of this efficiently. Now, LJ, now I'll get the long bar. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alex does have the lead. 224 for Alex. 203 for Zeno. Zeno's Tetris ready. Alex, mm, maybe looking for a long bar to get double. No, I'm just gonna burn out of this. Yeah. So nah, nah. We got people in the chat popping off, wanting Zeno to win. Alex S has fans cheering for them as well. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is why it's a decider. But we do have okay, so Alex looking for the right piece to tuck. Going to get that and long bar in column nine. Academus would be proud. Oh my gosh. Oh and that the right side from Alex S. Okay, a split double. Over oh, the left side! This double it's not a double! Oh my gosh! Alex S needs something over to the left. Get the low bar. Can't get it over. And at 260, it's not. And Zeno's getting into trouble, but it's already ahead at 263. Not like this. Oh, no. And Zeno will be getting heart number three. Unfortunate set of pieces there for Alex. Trying to burn out. Trying to be clean. Zeno... Gifted game one a little bit. Alex S returns a gift in game five. GG's. All right, let's take a look at the bracket. It has updated. We have Torza. He's gone through a pretty bit of a gauntlet, I would say. Taking on Wallbent, the roller. And then defeating Rubar. Two rollers for that Das player to get to the semifinals. Das versus Das matchup. You just saw Torza defeating Salted Sofa. This is Torza taking, uh, you know, path left travel to get here. Xeno Phileas down from the red bracket. First took on Timmy Kim and some insane scores in that game. Timmy getting the comp PB. Uh, still falling. Xeno was able to prevail. Then Xeno defeating Felenio in a sweep. And just recently, that decider, Xeno Phileas on Alex S. But Zeno into the finals. Let's go ahead and throw it on over to our US versus Thailand scene. We have our six seed versus our nine seed. Uh, nice. Nice. And this is it. Your future circuit finals. First time Monthly Tetris has restreamed every bracket all the way to get to this moment. Xenophilius the Roller taking on towards uh, the Das Terror of Thailand. Xeno with coffee in hand. Early morning for them. Late night for Torza. Let's give him a countdown in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Look at that rolling on the screen for you over here. Let's go ahead and get, uh, get that adjusted in. Maybe, maybe a little more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, both players on the way. Oh, Torja. Torja stencil. Oh my gosh, did we do this? 
Ah, it's valuable. We'll fix it before the next match. I don't remember. Emulator stencil. I know it's it's rough. It's rough. So don't worry about it. We will. We can read the score. We'll get it. We'll get it sorted out later. Oh my gosh, right? So, uh, I don't know. Have these players met before? There's like no chance. Have they hit in a friendly or something? Let's check the match database. Did you know you can uh, check the match database for so many things? We actually keep a record of every match. And I have pings all the time. People DMing me, hey, we haven't, uh, you haven't updated this thing. This thing hasn't gone in. You actually go to ctm.gg slash match db. You get a link right there the match database and put in whatever and what uh, what it just tells me is that you know Tor and Zeno have not played before the first time matchup between both of them 121 for Zeno 82,000 for towards the uh... <laughs> rhubarb commenting on the stencil I've been slowly trying to um, build out the build out the different commands, different hot links we have. We also have hot links for the max out list, for the world record sheet, and then you know hopefully the goal is to get all these on a website someday. I'm working right now to get the uh, website and the mass database in the bot, which could then be fed into the website, and then you build Elo around that. You know the way to do it yeah this is definitely not the worst stencil it's just a little bit vertical or horizontal off so mmm some hot links big power guam says yum yum 216 for Zeno 158 for Torza and I I may be mistaken but I think this is the first time for both of them in uh, it, it, it may be the first time for both of these players in the Futures final? I'm not entirely sure. I, I think it is the first time for Zeno. Hmm. Maybe we can get Pumpy Heart to look that up. Yeah, definitely a first time for Zeno, and I can tell that Torza is nodding furiously as well. 252 for Torza, 272 for Zeno. Yeah, I think this is the first time for Torza. It's not it's not looking like it's on here. So first time for Torja too. So they're playing for the uh playing for that, you know, exclusive role. Playing for Challengers circuit next month. You will be guaranteed to see one of these two players in Challengers should they uh participate, I guess. You know, if they decide not to play next month, I guess that's on them. But uh we are guaranteeing them a spot in uh, challenges for next month. 349 for Torza, 372 for Zeno. Torza in chat right before the match saying, "Can I uh can I get a pass here? Roller dash versus roller." Oh my gosh. And uh no, cuz because look at this hanging right there. Pretty close in pace both players at 99 lines. A Tetris difference between the two of them. You know, getting a little bit of a rough patch, but no big deal. Burns right out of it and into a Tetris. And some more safe burns from Torja. 420. Ooh, a little bit of a awkward hang. Zeno nodding about it. You know, awkward hang of that L. Then it can be creatively solved. Let's, uh... Or, you know, just not creatively... Ooh. Did not mean to spend the T. That, that's not the creative play <laughs> uh, to solve it. And towards a uh, uh, then clean board state, uh, getting close to that transition might end up being uh, being crucial. Towards in a way to be able to, uh, to 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 get you know 
get the lead with that Tetris. 475 for Torza, 460 for Zeno. Uh, let's see, let's go back. I'm gonna uh, change. We've heard this one a lot today. Let's bring it back as we move towards transition. Both players transition 460, 486 for Torza, 465 for Zeno at that transition point. So one touch is difference in pace, swings back towards uh, Torza. We're gonna come down to post, you know, as most of these games do. Zeno gonna get that first Tetris in the post transition. Taking the lead at 140 lines. Nice skin from Zeno, but creates a long bar dependency. Oh, long bar, where's it coming from? What? Zeno? Oh my gosh. Oh, and that left side for Zeno. Oh, I didn't know. No, all right, you think it's over. But that left side, no way, no way. It'd have to skim down, and Zeno's gonna top out at 501. Had that sort of like rock solid pace and everything going. But Torza uh, hanging in there, just taking these skims and taking these singles will be enough for game number one. Let's give him, uh, give him a heart, why don't ya? GG's. We have a hover three from Zeno. We have a ready for Torza. Let's count him down. Game two in three, two, one, Tetris. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> right before Torres is saying, Stop promoting, Pumpy. I want to go to bed. Because Thailand, right? Probably a school night, and here I am keeping teenagers from going to sleep. Zeno looks like, you know, they could use some sleep, you know? <laughs> oh, I didn't fix stencil. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, I'm going to do it right now. YouTube, this is how this is how you do it, right? You take the stencil, you get this, and you do the transform on their bracket. You just go right here, it'll take me two seconds. You see it's misaligned. Oh. And now oh did I did I do it right? Let me go and do that. There we go. And you just grab and drag it in. Oh, there it is. This one. And Live stencil clinic by someone who doesn't. Oh, am I adjusting stencil or the stream? There we go. Pretty good. There we go. Perfect. That's how you do it. <laughs> 71,000 for Zeno. 72,000 for Torja. Why isn't Torja getting a TV piece? Yes. Who knows? Who knows? Pro streamer, Pumpy Heart here. True. So chat, and this may be premiered on YouTube too, so YouTube chat, you're welcome to join as well. What is your favorite coffee? Your performance enhancing drugs. What's your favorite one? Yeah, you know, I'm a coffee fan. Get that caffeine boost. Maybe you're an energy drink fan. Maybe you're uh, something else. <laughs> Let's see, what are, your, what are your favorite stimulants? Legal in your country of origin? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. 186 for Zeno, 188 for Torza. Two thirty-one for Zeno. Did I already say that? I think I did. A little bit of a little bit of a creative burn there from Torza. Looking for that single. Not a little dependent, but you know, you take these risks on being dependent. You just gotta take, the, take those risks every now and then, you know? You wanna be as efficient as possible. Nice tuck of the J for Torja. 240 for Torja, 278 for Zeno. <laughs> vanilla hazelnut Keurig coffee. Mmm, vanilla hazelnut. You like how alti high altitude? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying out high altitude uh, soon. I just, I just bought, a, bought a bag. I've been using, um, oh, what's the brand name? I don't know, but it's Mississippi Swamp Grog. It has been our sort of breakfast, uh, breakfast wake up of choice. It's a very hazelnut caramel. Mm, very good. Verena Street, I believe. Verena Street. Yes. 
Tie game 331 for Torza and Zeno. So as close as you can get, but Torza has some line advantage. I don't know. Uh, I don't know which one Zeno was approving of there. We'll just have to get Zeno's coffee of choice after after chat after the match. Four two for Torza. Uh, nice little you know little X five right. I learned what that meant, and now I'm just gonna say it over and over again. If no one else knows what it means, it takes you, you take the lines, multiply it by five, and if that's about the score, that's that's pretty good, right? X five with one thirty means that you're like six twenty pace, right? So you're six hundred k over six hundred k transition pace. X five, the more you know. Is Brazil coffee good? Yeah, I think Brazil coffee is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Bongo Chan Owo with the follow. Thank you. Are these are these real accounts? Owo? Owo. 494 for Torza. 415 for Zeno. If you're a real cap, hello. Oh they are here. Yes, hi. You will. You're real. Hi Bongo Chan Owo. Hello. Get these numbers up, right? If you're watching and not following, what are you doing? Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitch. We get a lot of viewers who on YouTube who aren't subscribers. Like, subscribe, come on, come on. And Torza 543, Zeno 427. Uh, just a monster sort of pace here from Torza. I've wanted to not talk about it, you know, don't want to curse this pace. You know, DAS players, you know, they're so superstitious. They believe in things like pace curses, you know, because they're, they're already playing the voodoo of uh, DAS. And, you know, we'll see if uh, Torza can get that 600k transition. Looking for a long bar. Zeno's just trying to survive as well. Don't want to curse that survival. Zeno flinging pieces left and right. Go for the flat placements. This is smart when you're trying to burn out. Now on the 19 speeds. Zeno oh, gets a piece all the way over to the left side. Torza. Oh my god, it's Torza. It's total. The curse is real. Torza tops out at 594 right after transition. What? So, Zeno, listen to me. Stay alive. Stay safe. You need to chase down 595. Chase down 595. I'll type the chop out score in chat in case something happens. 595. Zeno all day to do it. Oh my god. Literally the long bar hang away. Uh, right, took a skim right into transition towards the dead. And then the long bar came one piece too late. Dash. Unable to get over without quick tap. Oh, Zeno with the dig to survive. Gonna need uh, gonna need another one here. Looks like this isn't necessarily gimme territory. You gotta you gotta work get this stack down. Zeno wouldn't be have this opportunity without that dig. Torza with the unfortunate hang. Oh, just hurts. No. You don't see, you see DAS 400k transitions, not every day, that's fair to say. Alright, Xena setting up for a touch will certainly help here. Oh, but another, another time when the pieces aren't coming right away. Long bar dependent over on the left side, might just burn out of this. Oh, sets up, okay, yeah, there it is. Oh, began to set up. Oh, could have taken a split double there. Oh my gosh, Zeno. Zeno? Zeno? What? Needs 595. Needs to survive now, though. Left side gets the long bar over. Oh my god, it's gonna get all the way over the rotation. Called it to be one brick too short. Oh my gosh, the Mino, the coming. Zeno can't get anything over to the left side. Fails to chase down at 538. Towards the. Uh, 
hangs the long bar right after transition. Doesn't matter. Oh no. One misdrop from Xeno. Misdrops hurt rollers too. And Torza will get heart number two. GG. Xeno says, what am I supposed to do? Uh, drinking more coffee. That is, that's it. I don't know. And we got Hover 3's game number three. Uh, the Future Circuit Finals match point for Torza. Let's count them down in three, two, one. Tetris. Someone asking in chat, where does Xenophilius hurts? We measure how fast those taps go in at hurts. Uh, and people are giving various responses. 5 hertz, 0 hertz to 30.05 hertz from HEPS. Rollers getting those 30 hertz right. So the game runs internally at, uh, this is correct me if I'm wrong. I got, I do get confused on this, but the game runs internally at 60 FPS, but only accepts inputs at 30 FPS. Is that correct? Something like that. 30, 30 inputs per second. 60.0988 frames per second. Shake my head. Nope. Xeno saying I'm all wrong. See, I should probably read up on this, you know? Someone someone will tell me tell me how, how this works in chat. 30 hertz. 30, 30 inputs per second, though, right? Man, that, that part I'm correct on, right? Pretty sure I'm correct on that part. <laughs> The, right, why am I even running this show? Who even am I? Right? You know, why am I here? Game goes burr. That's all I know. <laughs> Seventy-four thousand for Torza. Ninety-four thousand for Zeno. Zeno's starting off with pretty, pretty good uh, Tetris rate there. Actually, a true Sharky, bruh. Yep. Mischief of the T. With the long bar to fantasy, long bar comes before anything gets too scary. And again, early, early game here. We have a tie score. And now we don't. 124 for Torza, 123 for Zeno. 30.0494 hertz. Oh my gosh. If you love nerdy conversation about hertz, and nerdy and then like number wise, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. I don't think like, it's cool now. It's just not a negative stimulus. If you enjoy those kind of conversations, you know, Twitch chat right now is where it is happening. Sitting there with 19.4736 hertz. <laughs> you know? Hertz discussions. You can join the Discord and get more hertz discussions. You have access to the bot, can see exactly how many hertz are needed for each tap placement. So, ah, uh, yeah, you know. Great. Imagine the owner of the ELO spreadsheets and the manager of ELO and have manager of the ELO team saying negative things about numbers. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. 204 for Zeno, 203 for Torza. Pretty neck and neck. Early days here. <laughs> someone in uh someone in twitch chat saying stop talking about hurts h-u-r-t-s start talking about tetris i'll do better i promise we don't want to hear about uh the you know the hurts we want to hear about the tetris game hurts doesn't you know das doesn't care about your hurts right Tetris for Torza, 261. Zeno, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a something, you know, three pieces. Ooh, doesn't place that L flat. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. Zeno, seeing the stat get higher, brain awaken. Zeno, I am w wishing you an awake brain right now. Need something over to the left hand side. Yeah, I get that T over. And towards the covering up the well, you know, have to take a couple skims here. Smart play, smart calculated play, and Zeno gets out of it. Two, uh, well, I gotta wait for this Tetris. Three eleven for Torja. Two eighty nine for Zeno.
towards uh, 357, not quite the pace of the last game, and that's okay, you don't necessarily need that, survive, you know, get those points afterward, it'll be fine. Because Zena Lawson not on the hottest pace. 359 for Torja. 340 for Zeno. Zeno on the grind though, you know. Zeno playing every day. Torja playing every day. This is that's just the world of classic Tetris in the year 2018. Nice S spin tuck from Zeno. Not a dirty Tetris, but shaking their head, you know, built up for a while. I was like, oh, it's probably dirty. T skim fixing a little bit of a uh, little bit of a little bit of unevenness for Torza. 406 for Torza. 375 for Zeno. <laughs> Ooh, Torza, a little bit of a last second flip. I uh, was prepping to flip the long bar in the next piece. Uh, luckily that does resolve itself pretty okay. Could have been worse situation for Torza, but does, you know, that single burn, just a little bit of lines lost. Both players coming up on transition. Torza cleans it up before transition. Zeno holding out for this bar. Gonna get it. And Zeno transition 445. Torza transition 460. A one Tetris lead at transition for Torza. Nothing for players of this caliber. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be decided in post. Music revs up just where you want it to oh a little bit of an l hang from torza torza looking for the long bar would be the easiest solve uh to get out of this and maybe we'll just yeah take us a split double probably going to just burn out with a triple 485 for torza 528 for xeno taking advantage of that little bit of a slowdown to open up a two tetris lead and torza is having to take these burns you know playing das you gotta take them, take, keep your stack maintainable so you can score Tetris's just like that. Torza gets one, 516. Zeno, 556, gets another one up to go up to 583. So Zeno about seven lines ahead of Torza, so you gotta calculate that in with pace. So it's about a still a one Tetris lead for Zeno. Yeah, there you go. There's the scores to prove it. 618 for Zeno after that Tetris. Towards it, a little bit of a situation here. Opens up the well. Probably just gonna, you know, I'd like to just take these skims. Long bar would be pretty nice here for Towards it. Takes a double. Towards it holding out, getting into a little bit of a drop. But the long bar does come. 585. Zeno places a little long bar right in the, you know, little, almost a king bar. You know, we almost call those that. 655 for Zeno. Zeno you know, taking burns as well. Torza has got a little bit of a situation. Has to take these, but nice piece of a Torza going to open up the well. Where's the long bar for Torza? Looking out for one. Oh my gosh, Torza maybe setting up dirty here and does. Where's the long bar for Torza? Oh, that left side for Torza gets a double and does get a long bar and into a Tetris. Nice survival there from Torza. 662. Zeno opens up the well. Oh, nice last. Look at that roll all the way over for the adjustment on the T. And Zeno's going to get a Tetris. Level 26 for Zeno. 732. Torza. 665. Torza in a little bit of a situation here. He needs a long bar. Gets one. And another great set of pieces for Torza. Torza going to take a skim to be Tetris ready. Zeno gets a Tetris. 769. 676 for Torza. Torza looking for long bar here. Down almost 80,000 points. Uh, down about two Tetrises in pace. So, Torza got to play aggressive here. And it's hard to play that aggressive when you're going up against the roller. Got to play aggro with this Das. Got to... Oh my gosh. Zeno is Tetrising. 806 for Zeno. 751 for Torza. They're tied in lines. A true two Tetris lead for Zeno. Torza is going to need all of them here. Oh my gosh. But a little bit of slowdown for Zeno. Zeno is putting the foot on the gas as well. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Zeno needs some great pieces for the left side. Zeno's gonna have to burn. Zeno's gonna, at 883, trying to get a couple more points on the kill screen. Towards is gonna have to set up center well here and hope for one in kill screen. Needs one in post, needs a piece to tuck. Zeno is going to top out at 880 and oh, and Towards is gonna transition with that long bar. Uh, Towards is going. Towards on the kill screen. There's no Tetris in sight. Feels dust, man. Zeno's shaking the head. Zeno's gonna get one. 
take this game number three insane post back and back very close game uh xeno gets their first heart of the set two to one two to one Game number four, the Futures Finals will be underway right now in three, two, one, Tetris. I mean, what a what a game three, right? Both players getting all the way to kill screen. Torza needing to be maximally efficient. Zeno, knowing this, played, you know, took very few skims. And, uh, you know? That's how it, how the game goes. That's how it works. <laughs> Touches for Torja to get started, and attaches for Zeno. Feels feels good. Yeah. I uh. Everybody, you know, it's nice to nice to be here. I hope everybody will have a wonderful rest of your day. Go ahead and plug this during the match because later this afternoon. Maybe it's me, maybe it's someone else, maybe it's Tugi, I don't know. Maybe it's Vandy, maybe it's Zeno, who knows. Somebody will be hosting the Challengers Finals this afternoon. Winner will move on to the Masters event. So uh, come back, 1800 UTC for that. We'll have that today. Zeno missed the blank thing. Zeno's well is open, needed that long bar to kind of like start be to begin sorting this out uh, you know it's doing it it's getting this burned down oh yeah this is one, one of my faves oh my gosh flex style just slaps 140 for Torza 103 for Zeno Zeno's gonna set up with that left well Toys are gonna get that dirty center well. You know, still holding out for this. Let's see, uh, you know. See when that bar comes, and they had one. Zeno not afraid of the center well. We've seen a couple center wells today. Uh, center wells, left wells. We've seen a couple left wells today from Zeno, and a couple center wells from Torza, right? You get down and uh, you get down and watch Future Circuit. You see a little bit more uh, variety of play. You know, Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Keeps it interesting. I want all the players to 30 hertz everything and kill screen duel. Blah. Right, you know, you know. Watch everything. You get hybriders, you get switch grips, you get all sorts of things down here. The lowest, lowest, uh, the lowest, oh my gosh, the lowest restream bracket for now, right? But it ain't lowest. We're gonna get, we're gonna get hopefuls in here, I think. And, uh, the caliber of competition, right? All of these folks, you know, imagine if this is CTWC, right? You know, this would be like, what, C, I can't do math, 33 through, no, 32 through, uh, 47? That sounds right, because we have to play in, right? So that's what you're watching right now. Yeah. Quality, not low. Yeah, there we go. All right. 307 for Torja, 255 for Zeno. Sometimes you just need to stop talking, you know? Pumpy, just stop talking. Okay, I'll start talking then. 356 for Torja, 279 for Zeno. Another triple from Torza to get this uh, get this set Earth ready. And look at that. We can see quite clearly that Torza with about a three Tetris lead here. Identical in line. Yeah, I saw some rumors about a tournament that, you know, provides consoles to the winner. MU only tournament and the winner gets a console set up. That'd be pretty cool, I think. That's something I could get behind. Well, you're not monetary cash prize, but it is, right? You know, these car these consoles are 
expensive to acquire outside of the United States. And as we have seen, some of the best players in the world come from outside of the NTSC region. So we need to we need to have this event be accessible. That's why we allow emulators to play in CTM. And I think emulators are back on the menu in CTL. And uh, you know, other tournaments may may decide not to, and that's certainly their ability. But we want this to be open to everybody. 448 for Torza, 425 for Zeno. Zena chipped a little bit in that lead. Torza had a little bit of a slowdown. Someone in the chat, Richard Wolf the Sixth, sorry, says I always confuse Torza with Dimsy. There you go, Torza. <laughs> uh, and I expect an immediate top out from Torza after after that little bit of a call out. 433 for Zeno. <laughs> 496 for Torza. Well, they were off the menu of Div 1, right? Of CTL, right? Like, Div 1 was like console only or something. I don't remember. It was something about that in CTL. But, like, you're playing for money. We want it to be... No? Okay. That's good. That's good. There was... Moo said something about it, and I was like, oh, that's... Oh, oh, it was a rule that never got applied, right? It was going to be off the menu and then change their minds. That's right. Hand cam required. You just need hand cams. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, everybody who disagrees with me loses ELO. Let's talk about the game, though. 576 tours, uh, 516, 518 for Xeno. Tours are taking some skims right now. I get this, this chance for this music, you know? I just get off topic. That's what happens. Zeno in a little bit of a situation here. One long bar is going to help. Another one could help over the left side. Look for LJ. Oh, Torza. There's a couple unfortunate misdrops. Misdropping the L and then the T feels death. Zeno keeps putting a little bit of weight on that hole. Taking a little bit of time to get out of this. Torza gets a nice bar to get to dig out. Oh, Zeno. A lot of weight on the holes right now. Zeno is going to need a mile style dig to get out of this. Gets it over Torza in the lead by 100,000 points, but that doesn't matter to Zeno. Zeno's got to dig out of this first. Okay, gets it over. Nice set of pieces for Zeno, and will be able to open the well. Nice survival there from Zeno Filius. 702 for Torza, 572 for Zeno. Touch of Zeno, up to 602. So 100,000 point lead for Torza. He's uh, on a pretty good, uh, pretty good pace, I think, right? Insane dig from Zeno. Gotta do it to survive. And now, oh, gets right back into another one. Looking for the L. Oh, has to put the long bar on column 10 where you want to be leaving that well open. Oh, can't get a little late flip. Has to, it requires an additional tap on that S piece. Can't get it over the left side. Um, but Zeno's digging it down. 825 for Torza. 675 for Zeno, 150,000 point lead for Torza, and Torza has lines in hand. Oh my gosh, Zeno's gonna have to get out of this and do, I, I don't even know, not in a scoring position, needs to do, needs to get into scoring position, can't even set up for a dirty, oh, didn't mean to play the T there, gets a Vitz, uh, but not the cool kind, oh, just trying to fling pieces over. Zeno's gonna have to clean up the stack and get ready for post because Z Torza has 900,000 on level 27. Zeno at 700,000 on 27 now. Oh my gosh, needs an L or a J over for the left side. Zeno's still surviving. Torza's getting Tetrises. Oh, and that left side inaccessible for Zeno. Torza, 9. 38 on level 27. We'll watch them play it out. But Torza is your January 2022 Future Circuit winner. Oh my gosh, at 942. Uh, yeah, we'll see if, see if they can squeeze out one more Tetris here. But no, nope, they stayed up late. Mom and dad would be proud, uh, wherever your parents are, because. Torza is your bracket winner. What bracket winner? Do we have like winner winner? Also bracket winner. But there it is. Look at that. 
bracket winner. Well, we got we got a fixed bracket winner. Where, where's that at? Winner, winner. There you go. Torres, your futures. Winner roll. Let's get see if we can get uh, towards them more on this screen here. There we go. Oh. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Torres are getting follows. Popping off. Look at that. Love to see it. Torza is your bracket winner for January 2022. Love it to see it. Look at that. Sorry, Mom. Torza still awake. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Look at that smile. Gets a roll on Discord. Gets everything. And we try to get more Torza's face on there. But it looks like we couldn't. So. Oof. The prestigious 40 characters on trophies. True. So congratulations, Torza. Zeno, thanks so much for playing, you know, and scheduling and everything. And Torza signs off. There you go. A little salute. Bye-bye. <laughs> Torza has school tomorrow. It is time to sleep. Hey, everybody. This is your old pal, Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.